the teaching series on Sunday, understanding the blessedness of a revival. Understanding the blessedness of a revival. And we have said very quickly, a revival is the move of the Spirit of God. The practical move of the Spirit of God. Nero, Teshi, Gada, Yale, Koto, Bale, Yala. God is going to do something in your life. It will look as if God is against you, but it will work for your good. I said it will work for your good. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. The move of God is what we call a revival from our anchor scripture from uh, the theme of the month, Isaiah chapter 61 from verse 1 to verse 13. Amen. The spirit of the Lord is upon me and every teaching. Listen to me. What that simply means is this. When the power of God truly comes upon a man, he destroys whatever is not of God in that life. Are you with me? When the spirit of God possesses you, everything around you changes. For example, Romans chapter 8 and verse 11 says, If the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, what happened? It shall quicken your mortal body. So, when the power of the Holy Ghost come upon you, sickness naturally are destroyed. So, when the power of God is moving, one of the things he attacks in your life is sickness. Rebo Shika, as the anointing come upon you today, no matter who you are, anything cause sickness in your life will end right here. Yeah. He calls it the spirit of quick understanding. According to Isaiah chapter 11, from verse, verse 2 and verse 3. The seventh spirit of God. That's why we say you should read the book of God. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. When the spirit of the Lord rests upon you, you begin to manifest God. Where others fail, you triumph. Not by your strength, not by your skill, not by connection. But what? By the spirit of God that has come upon you. That is why in Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6, he said, not by power. Not by might, but by what? By my spirit, saith the Lord. Enough is enough of your failure. Yeah. God is changing your story. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. So what are we saying when there is a move of the spirit of God? Shame is terminated. I see that shame terminated this month in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want that happen number two. You are every frustration is terminated in a man's life. You can't be frustrated in the revival because it will show you which way to go. From that scripture, it will guide you. Praise God, somebody. So that is why you need personal revival this season. Are you hearing me? Amen. And we say, what is the result of that? You begin to enjoy favor. Everywhere you go, favor. 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 Everywhere you go. What, what again do you enjoy? Financial fortune. Everything you need is delivered to you. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I see this revival season, this month of July, terminating every struggle in your life. You better believe it. Every frustration, every mockery, every debt, Every borrowing, I decree it come to an end this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. As the Lord liveth, he will change your story. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to swim in divine favor. You begin to swim in supernatural financial abundance. And then health become your portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. All these I've mentioned will come to pass in your life this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. And, and, and thank God today is our anointing service. And it's a special service of what? Breaking invincible barrier. You know why? When the spirit of God is moving. No matter where the devil hide is located. It's located to destroy it. Which means before now you may not even know where your problem is. Can I tell you something? As the anointing come upon you today, every yoke of the devil in your life shall be broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So what are we saying? In breaking invisible barrier, it is very important, please take note of this, that life is spiritual 
And everything that happened to you happened first in the realm of the spirit. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Lift up your right hand right now. Listen to this. From today, whatever you put this hand to do, I command it to prosper. Listen. Whatever is destroying your labor, whatever is fighting you, as it's fighting order that you will not progress, from today, I decree them terminated in your life. Do you know that you are ordained to prosper? And you are saved to be blessed. Whatever is making you struggle spiritually, I command it terminated now. So shall it be. I have a mandate in this service to set somebody free by the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost. Whatever was planted in your life by an enemy, I command it uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. If it was planted by force, it can be uprooted by another force. Amen. Please don't play with your life. Thank God I love what that brother did. I was sharing testimony. Somebody come and be telling you you will die. I don't know why I don't see these kind of people for my life. Hey, I wish by mistake, by mistake. They'll just come and tell me that. Can. I will allow you to finish. Stop there. Fake prophet. Did that ask you? I will show right? To come and sow nonsense seed in my life. I am drunk with scriptures. Amen. I would rather die obeying what God says than obeying what you say. You don't get it. Amen. Let all men be liars. Let God be true. All can be liars. When they tell you that kind of thing, shut them down. Tell them you are fake. The Bible says. Amen, somebody. But can I tell you something? Whatever the enemy is doing, you don't even know how. But it's affecting you. You can see the effect. Things are not working. It's like you are losing it already. In this service, that work of the devil is destroyed today. Yeah. Why am I talking like this? Whatever is happening to you is not natural. It has a spiritual undertone. I just show you a scripture and then we'll rise up to pray. Are you ready to pray? I just show you a scripture now. Look at this. We look at some of those scriptures in the second service about Job. Now let's look at a very powerful scripture right now. When you see the children of Israel in the in Egypt, and then there is this argument between Moses and Pharaoh. Let my people go. Moses said they will not go. You will think it is Moses and Pharaoh that is talking. No, sir. It, can I tell you something? It has nothing to do with Moses. It has nothing to do with Pharaoh. It was purely a spiritual context. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Now look at this scripture. Exodus chapter 4, verse 22 and verse 23. Look at this scripture. Uh, that this is what premise what happened in Egypt. Finally, finally. This was what premise it. Look at what the scripture says. It said what? And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, thus saith the Lord, not Moses, but the Lord, Israel is what? My son. Even what? Pharaoh, in case you not understand, Israel not be any person picking at my picking. Not just my, my first son. Verse 23, can we read together? Verse 23, want to go. And I say unto thee, let my son go, that he may serve me. And if you refuse to let him go, behold, what happened? I will slay thy son. Even Nikota. How many of you are members of this church? Whatever says you will not go forward. Whatever make you a member of this church, I command that God die for you. 
what is beginning from today what affects others negatively will not be able to affect you i like to prophesy to every member of this church every arrow of death targeted against you against your children if i be a man of god i command it to return back to sender wherever hear me sir anyone that has planned death accident poison for you i command them go down for you in the name of jesus christ you didn't get it israel is my firstborn if you temper with him i kill you can you see that it was it uh, pharaoh and moses this is god talking did god do it or not now let me prove to you that it was not a physical battle what instrument did moses use to kill the firstborn in egypt which gun which knife what instrument did he use nothing nothing he only tell pharaoh if you don't let this ones go your firstborn will die now what am, where am i driving at you discover that the death in egypt there was a spirit behind it and that spirit exempted every member of israel so so some of the things you go through they are not physical the pain you go through the delays you go through they are not physical no matter how logical they can be explained so what do you do use spiritual weapon against it first and you will try your physically Amen. use what spirit Church, some of us are very casual we are too too casual in our spiritual approach that is why we are casualties because when you are spiritually casual you become what a casualty if the enemy come near you open fire the bible says from the days of john the baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered violent and only not the sleepy one the violent take it by force. not the sleepy one by mistake you see one delilah in your husband's phone and then you say i will let me wait for him to come today as soon as he's entering good afternoon good afternoon who is a uh, janet he said janet janet i don't know who is janet to bring your phone bring your phone stop fighting spiritual battles physically now let me shock you some of you the janet you are fighting physically i hope you know that janet want to collect your husband spiritually he has gone to maybe a witch doctor or something has done something and then how do you think that the person using spiritual weapon you can win physically no judge it that's the reason we lose you are in a company you are working you have some occultic members there working in the company and you are angry that they are promoting them they are not promoting you because you are not in their gang disorganize them eh even the manager will see the anointing oil in my office because i will so unleash my weapon in fact i will tell them i want to do overtime for they, they think i want to work for them the overtime is to overtime them when they have closed father thank you carry all of them carry the blood carry anointing carry mantle use everything why you don't win a physical contest in the energy of intellect you win spiritually sir the bible speaking in ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to verse 12 what did he say for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against power against spiritual wickedness in high places he said wherefore you put on the whole armor of god so that you may be able to stand you may be able to withstand them amen sir you are not redeemed to be physical you are redeemed to be spiritual so stop using 
stop being physical. Stop being carnal. Use your spiritual weapon. Open your spiritual eyes to see things. Amen. That's how to win. Sir, nothing happened ordinary on this earth. Too. I said nothing happened. Praise God. Sir, I even though you see me playing like this, I don't leave my life to chance. I don't. Several. One day we were to be transferred, promoted to go to Cameroon. They replaced somebody with our name. Can I tell you how it was reversed? We went into prayers. The Holy Ghost, nobody told us. We just, we are worshiping God, we are praising God. Listen, praise is one strong weapon against your enemy. Not quarreling and complaining. Ah! Can I, praise and worship is not for the choir. It's for a believer who wants to win. It's not for choir. Come on. You know, say, Pastor, me, I know it's a big voice. God is not looking for your voice. God is looking for your heart. We were just worshiping God Sunday evening, and the Holy Ghost said to us, Nobody takes your place. We turn it into prayer. We never knew no win. As, as at when we are praying, the person has finished induction in our place. And we prayed that prayer. This was on a Sunday. The next Monday, Thank God for God's servant, our father in the faith, Bishop Eripo. He just went, he said, Pastor Soso, give me the original list. Can you see? God? Uh, can I tell you something? The, the people involved have not changed the original list. May the enemy make a mistake for your rising. Eh? Yeah. And they gave it to God's servant. And then he kept it on his table for like a week. And he said, take don't remove anybody from this list. Did you hear me? Yeah. And meanwhile, they already remove. Tell somebody spiritual weapon. Yes, For the weapons of our warfare. Now, if it can happen in a church setting, what of in go local government? Yeah. From today, anyone that is behind your promotion, I command them go down for you. That was a change. Sir, that was it. Nekote kareto serialaba. Anyone that has spoken negatively against you, that is affecting you, I command it reverse now. No. You are leaving this service totally free from every demonic barriers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please sit down. Sir, that was what happened. By the time they changed, they couldn't change it again because somebody prayed. Suppose I'm looking for who to help me. Connection. Your connection will fail because your connection cannot see beyond their nose. By the way, some of your connections are the one doing you. It takes only spiritual weapon to frustrate them. Somebody was to be promoted seven years on the same job, the same position, not promoted. He has been, there is a man in the company who said, I will help you, I will help you. And then he came to the office. I remember that should be 2002 or thereabouts. And that first mission of the in the West. He came to my office. He said, Sir, do you know for seven years, they have, they have not, in fact, I don't like to hear it. Seven years you have not been promoted. No matter the work, you will be promoted. Is anyone like that here? Seven years on this. No, you, you, it's not possible. Under this commission? Never. Too much. Four years, too much. Seven years. They said, no. I said, in the name of God, go and change that office. That's not your place. Now, according to her testimony, he said she left. She was not happy because I didn't speak in tongues. Listen to me, sir. This is number two. One cardinal instrument to break the barriers in your life is your prophet. Yes. The pastors over you. Because what they say over you we counter what the enemy said over you. But people don't understand. Because some of the people you are fighting with or this barrier, they also have priests. They also have priests, chakra, chakra priests who speak into their life, who lie to them. You have a priest too. Some of you are just struggling for nothing. One word is enough. Yes, sir. I tell you the truth. She said she was not happy because I, she thought I would speak in tongues and pray. And 
I said, go, go and change the office. And then, this was dramatic. Next week, she's coming with a promotion letter. Double promotion. She got to school the next day. Look at what happened. Just by a prophetic word. Go and change the, 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 the office. He went there. They, they called her to, I don't know, HR or whatever. And they gave her a letter. Double promotion. She was, this is seven years. No answer. But one prophetic word. Is it Hosea chapter 12, verse 13. By a prophet. By what? A prophet. Was Israel set free? And by a prophet was he delivered? Who was that prophet? Moses. Amen. And by a prophet the Lord brought Israel. How? Not their strength, not their skill, not their education. By a prophet. By a prophet. And by a prophet, he not only they are promoted, they will be preserved in the job. Sir, another key to break barriers is prophetic. Believe your prophets. Believe. I love what somebody did during the week. The person came to the office. I love it so much. Somebody spoke in their family something, something. And then the person is a man of God. And then he said, I will not answer you yet until I hear from my pastor. And he came to the office. He said, A, B, C. I said, it's not in the scripture. It's not possible. When you are going next time, take this step. You will come back with result." He said, hey, I'm happy now. In fact, I told them I will not do anything until what? I talk to my pastor. That is how to win. Otherwise, they will, they will join you with them in their demonic thing. And what is affected them will begin to affect you. And you don't know where the trouble is coming from. But from today, you are free. Yeah. And then she was promoted. They gave her a letter. When she was coming from where she collected a letter of promotion, her letter of promotion was in her hand. She met the man who has been helping her. And then the man was telling her, not knowing that the letter is in her hand. He said, you see, I have met with the people from the time of this thing. They said that this is November. They cannot promote you now. They will promote you in January when we enter next year. May your enemy not pretend to be your helper. Oh. <laughs> and then she said to her, ah, sir, they have given me the letter. They have he said, it's not possible. He said, this is the letter. Nekuta Bareta Lava every hand of the enemy concerning your career concerning your business I command it terminated now before this month is over return with your testimony of breakthroughs breakthroughs in your career breakthroughs in your career promotion in your business breakthrough in your finances breakthrough in your marriage breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. By prophetic words. Amen. So, so, what are we saying? What you are going through, don't take it as ordinary. Because life is controlled from the spirit. In fact, Galatia says something. He said the flesh and the spirit, they are fighting. So that he said, you cannot even do what you want to do. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. He said, that is how, that is, you, you don't have your will of your own. That is why sometimes you do some things, you can't even explain why. There are forces. But the good news is this. After this service, every hand of the enemy over your case shall be cut off in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All you need to do, just believe it. Be saved. Be born again. We in the second service. You want to be one those yokes broken, be born again. Then it's by faith. Then walk by light. That is, walk by what the word of God says. Anything God says, let it become your delight. Whatever God did not say, trash it. Walk by what? Light. 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 Arise, shine. Psalm 60, verse 1 to 3. Arise, shine, for the light is come. And the glory of the Lord. When your light comes, glory comes, shame is terminated. He said, there will be darkness everywhere, but for you, the light shall arrive. And verse 22, you will fly. Say, who are those that fly? Like a dove. Amen? Please, no Bible. Now, something is very important. Another key to break barrier is what? Serve God. Did you see in Exodus chapter 4, verse 22, tell Pharaoh, let my people go that they may serve me. They may go what? 
Stop playing with church. Start serving God. Exodus 23, 25, and 26. Serve God and God takes over. I wish we have more time to continue because there are plenty of things. But one of the things I want us to do, we are going to pray. Because when you pray, barriers are broken. Can I tell you something? One instrument that Satan we always want to resist his prayers because you know that once a believer pray, heaven will respond. Heaven will respond. Don't see everybody around you selling and you are not selling and you are just speaking it on. No, no. Lock the shop. Ketuza. Repa. So I don't know how you people believe. Do you know that I believe in the mystery of this commission to the teeth? I don't joke with them. Whether it's the anointing or the blood of sprinkling. I was sharing with somebody the other day. Sometimes somebody is having a challenge. I, I see you buy this tiny anointing bottle, tiny like this, tiny like this. I don't want that one. I will buy the big one, will pour off of the Satan head. Make it rich leg. So that even a fire they burn, it will burn his head, rich leg. I mean it. That is how much I believe in the mystery. Because here it is, let me round up with this. The mysteries of this commission are dangerous weapons against invisible battles. And we're going to be using one now, the anointing. Amen. One day God said, anoint this car. I didn't anoint the car. The car knock. Uh-uh. No, not you know, no sign. Just to climb a bomb. That was the car engine knock. Why? God said, anoint. You know what God was telling me? Use the weapon. Me too. I think I know past God. You can't knock. Engine. No sign, no nothing. We have to replace it. Sir, you have weapons. Don't play with them. Are you hearing me? Use them. In your office, use them. I, I, I visited one of our pastors one day. When I saw the entrance, I tell him, I said, you'll be proper winner. Because I could see the anointing. He don't put mark for the ties. Now if you say, even the tie don't drink the anointing. That is how it's supposed to be. Can I shock you? One day they sent EFCC to go and harass them for anything. Himself and his boss. I think he was the manager. For nothing. For nothing. This government. For nothing. And at the end of the day, as long as the people from EFCC, they came. Look at what happened. They were attacking everywhere. He was just seated. One of them just opened the drawer and saw a winner fly. He said, are you a winner? He said, yes. He, he told him, he said, relax, you have no problem. Hallelujah. That was it. He said, we are just carrying out orders from above. Relax, since you are a winner. It is, it's not the winner that deliver him. It is a weapon. That office don't drink anointing. So they, even the anointing, they fight enemy. Can I ask you your question? Your house, how many anointing don't drink? You even go to some people's house, so I win Can I get anointing you to pray? Say, don't finish. I am not trying to idolize it, but listen to me. When you don't have the weapon you need in the day of battle, what will you do? Use the communion. How can they say your child is, is, is short of blood? Who drink the blood? That's one thing I don't believe. That you, somebody is, you are every time blood transfusion. The blood is never, sir. If there is anything like that, place the person on communion because the devil cannot drink the blood of Jesus. The blood will remain, sir. These things are not physical; they are spiritual. So, uh, carry if if not me, not only communion, a a, a a a a glass of the blood. I said. Drink this blood. Let me see the devil. Somebody was getting sick like that. In a, every time she was preparing for an exam, she falls sick. The blood will be low. They will transfuse blood. He will miss the exam. And they came and said, ah, this one, no, no need prayer. It's very easy. They were surprised. No, 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 no. I said, prepare the communion. In the name of Jesus, your blood by this communion become the blood of Jesus flowing in you. That was it. I said, go. The mother said, I said, yes, go. And they came to share testimony four months later. Sir, my daughter just wrote an exam. No sickness, no shot of blood. I tell her, I say, I'm not surprised. The one where they drink the blood before, no fee drink the new one. Because what you now carry is the blood of Jesus Christ. I come to give you good news. 
as the anointing come upon you today, whatever is troubling your life shall catch fire. We are not trying to cajole you. We are telling you the truth. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had life in him. My, he had my kind of life. He said, as I live by my father, he shall live by me. John chapter 6 from 48 to 58. John 6, 48 to 58. It's there. Praise God, somebody. Use the mysteries. Matthew chapter 3, 11 to 12. We saw that in the second service. John the Baptist said, I baptize you unto repentance with water, but he that cometh after me shall know what shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and what fire, fire, nekutaba. As the anointing come upon somebody today, everything that is not of God upon your life shall catch fire. He said, I did baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes are not worthy to bear. He shall what? Baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with what? Next verse, verse 12. Whose fan is in his hand? And he will what? Totally purge his flesh about your body and gather his wheat unto the gamma. But what? He will burn up the chaff with as the anointing come upon you, every satanic planting in you, every satanic barrier around your life, I command them consume with unquenchable fire. Rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. And then listen. Learn to praise God. Every time their enemy attack, don't complain. Praise. Tell somebody praise. Our time is up. Let me tell you something. What weapon did Joseph have used to kill three nations? Praise. That's to tell you that it was spiritually orchestrated. God said, don't worry. Praise me. Let me enter the battle. And when they began to sing and to praise, Second Chronicles 20, 22, the Lord set abushment. Okay. Which caterpillar Eh? Which earth machine brought down the wall of Jericho? Just a shout. Just what? Oh, time will fail me. God said, follow protocol. What is the protocol? Go through the priest. Let the priest carry the ark and be going before you. That's all. Several times. And shout. Ordinary shout in quote brought down what? The wall of Jericho. There is something about the weapon we have that we don't know about yet. When they were marching around in, Jer in Jericho chapter 6, what do you call it? Joshua chapter 6, thank you. When they were going around the battle, do you know that the enemies were mocking them? Said, what are these people doing? They are just singing and going around. They know, they, do they know how thick this war is? That is why sometimes when you are using spiritual weapon, the enemy, the unbeliever, they are laughing at you. Like that brother said, I was speaking in tongues. Somebody was looking at me. What, what is this man doing? Wait first. If I know that this motor love, I will not die. <laughs> Praise. Spiritual weapon. Neguta. Leka. Say, what are you saying? Hold on first. In Anatuka. Sartoria. A war that no human person can bring down. If there was to be Boko Haram that time, they can't bring it down. Yes, Yet, spiritual weapon. Sir, stop using physical weapon to fight spiritual battles. You'll never win. You want to win? It is spiritual to spiritual. Thank you. Blood for blood. Fire for fire. That is it. Are you ready to pray? Or are you ready to praise? Which one now? <laughs> are you ready to pray? Or you are ready to praise? I feel like we will just praise God for five minutes. Sir, and then after that five minutes, we are going to shout. Every invisible barrier around your life shall crumble in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Sir, check scripture. Every time there is a praise, something happens. It is just natural. 
act of the apostle chapter 16 verse 26 25 20, the same thing when paul and silas pray after they have prayed they say let us begin to praise now and what happened no no knife no gun sir spiritual instruments are stronger than physical instruments just singing and shouting it's a miracle walking on it's a miracle the bible said there, 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 there was an earthquake in the prison because not a choir two people two persons was praising God why they drew out spiritual weapon and there was a spiritual reaction that affected the prison and the bible says everyone's bondage was loose in the midst of this prayer your bond shall be lost choir can you sing for us those powerful powerful where's our choir uh-huh. those powerful powerful praise church dance out that barrier right now just five minutes choir can we go quickly come up come up come up uh-huh. i like you to sink it from your heart and see every chain drop it right now hallelujah go ahead
by your praise is broken right now as this anointing come upon somebody the fire of the Holy Ghost shall burn out every resistance every hand of the enemy over you in the name of Jesus he said it shall burn up the child with unquenchable fire that is nothing can quench it that's the meaning of unquenchable nothing Nothing. Bring out your bottle of oil right now. If you don't have, let somebody just put in your hand. It's better you have. Listen to this. After this service, go and anoint your house. Anoint your businesses. Anoint your office. Every invincible hand of the wicked that has been working against you, by the anointing, they shall be consumed by fire. Everything that concerns you, anoint them. Anoint them. Anoint your house. Anoint your vehicle. Anoint your home. Those of you who are married. You want to get married? As this anointing is blessed, you are going to put your hand in your forehead and say, Father, every evil veil over my life consumed by fire. You must get married. In the name of Jesus Christ. You have pain in your body, you will anoint that place if you can touch it. If you cannot touch it, you anoint your head. Are you hearing me? Fire shall burn right now. Everything that is not of God shall be consumed. The Bible speaking in 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 38. And the fire of God fell and consumed the sacrifice, consumed the wood, consumed the stove, and lick up the water in the trench. That's the fire of the Holy Ghost. It came from heaven. Whatever has kept you in captivity, in sorrow, in disappointment, in failure, by the anointing, I command the fire of the Lord, consume them. You are returning with your testimony. Oh. Some of you, you think you are making progress. There is a limitation over your life. By this anointing, that invisible limitation shall be set on fire. Amen. And the speed you have never gained over four or five years, you will begin to see before the smart is over. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that the content of this bottle is no longer oil, but holy unto you. Holy Ghost, breathe upon it. I decree that this become holy anointing oil. The liquid fire, the unquenchable fire, the, 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 the yoke destroyer. Lord, I decree by this anointing, every yoke upon your people, every satanic planting, be consumed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let everyone return with a testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. Place that oil in your hand. Now you become holy. Put it on your forehead. Anoint anywhere you have pain. Anywhere. Begin to declare your liberty. Fire. Fire. I command the fire of God to consume every sickness in my body. Fire to break every stagnation. If you are sick, take a shot of that oil. The fire of God will burn. 
the fire of God will begin to burn. The fire of God will begin to burn to destroy every weakness, every disease they cannot trace. The anointing will destroy it now. 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 Lord, by this anointing, fresh, unquenchable fire, begin to burn every barrier, every force of wickedness, begin to be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire this anointing now. Every evil veil, catch fire, catch fire. By this anointing, Nekuta, le teta toti kalaga gabaria. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayer. Whatever you used to experience negatively ends right now. Maybe you have been believing God for a job. Everywhere you go is only promises, promises. That promise is turned to a miracle job this week. Maybe they are owing you. Maybe they are, your money is hanging somewhere. It looks as if, you know, the people, they don't get money. If they get there for pay, no. Whatever is holding back that money, I command it broken. I decree your payment be made this way in the name of Jesus. Every pain in your body and sickness, I decree the fire of the Holy Ghost terminate that enemy in the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, receive your healing right now. That affliction is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every covering cast over your marital destiny. I command them consumed by fire. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I know something has happened to you. Don't keep your testimony shared. Are you with me? In the name of Jesus, you will return with a testimony. Listen to me. Whatever you do from today, prosper for you. But listen to this. Are you born again? You know the promises of God are to those who are saved. If you are not born again, forget it. You won't have it. I'd like you to be sincere this morning. You know you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You are not a Christian. You know it. You are not living the life of a Christian now. The life you are living is not is a life of sin. You need Jesus. He died for you. Quickly, all heads bow. I want to invite you. Quickly come. Just put your right hand on your chest where you are. Let me pray for you quickly. You want to say yes to Jesus. Put your right hand on your chest. Pray this prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, have mercy upon me. Forgive me my sins. Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. I repent of my sin to serve you because you died on the cross for me. Thank you for receiving me today in Jesus' mighty name.